Hey guys, Carly at We Print Wraps. I'm going to go over a couple things today that might help you when outputting a wrap for print and getting the files all set up. So um, the things I'm going to go over are outlining fonts, embedding images, and rasterizing background. Okay, so first I'm going to give you a little rundown on my layers over here. I'm going to go to the bottom right corner. Um, my background layer has my um, vector artwork of the campgrounds and the trees and all that good stuff. My images layer is this layer with the little Polaroid image looking things of the kids and I have a text and logos layer which has all my logos text everything on the vi um, the vehicle wrap and then my template layer so um, one thing before you want to output your wrap for print these are kind of things that are important when sending files and maybe uploading to our site so first I'm going to go to my text and logos layer I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to hit control a. As you can see, most of my fonts are actually already outlined, but down here where it says www.azcampsunrise.org, um, it's not. And when you send a file to someone and your fonts aren't outlined and they don't have that font, then that font is going to be missing from your file. So I'm going to go ahead and I have all selected. I'm going to go to type and create outlines. And now if you go down here, um, the font has now been outlined and it's uneditable and it's now a vector object. Another thing that a lot of people are doing are sending me files and I'm op up, um, opening them up in Illustrator and then the files are missing. And it's because the images are not embedded. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my images layer and I'm gonna go on and zoom in here. All these cute little kids are actually uh, battling cancer right now. Um, this is a, a wrap I designed for a cancer, um, cancer foundation. So, very sad, but going to a good cause. Um, all right, so here we go. We got these photos, and um, to embed images, I'm going to go ahead and go over to my direct selection tool, and I'm going to hit group selection, and I'm going to click on. Um, as you see, when I wave my mouse over these images, they're actually like made into clipping mask, and how I clipped them to fit into these squares. So I'm going to click on one image, and then you're going to go up here to your top leftish corner and it's gonna you're gonna click embed so now this file is saved in um, in the illustrator file and it's not linked to a folder so when you email the file to someone and they open up the, um, the images will be there so as you can see I, I'm waving my mouse over it and there's uh, there's no X kinda over the photo and if I go over here to the next photo with the horses you can kinda see there's this like X line which means um, the file is not embedded. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the horse image and I'm going to go to embed and then I'm going to go to the next image, embed, and the next image, embed. All right. Well, I got all the images embedded in this side. So now I got to go to the next side of the wrap and I can even click on one by one image, embed, image. Go ahead. Simple as that little two click step right there all right so now for rasterizing a background a lot of people are uploading files that the background may be very large and I'm having a hard time opening them and viewing them because there's so much going on um, I'm gonna go ahead and lock my images layer and go to my background layer so in this file my background isn't super crazy it doesn't have a lot going on but I mean it is vector so as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this and hit release clipping mask so now you can see all my artwork that I got going on here um, you can see as I wave my mouse over it that it's all vector I want to go ahead and just rasterize this so that it's all one solid image and um, you know sometimes when you get a lot of things stacked on top of each other there's just problems and you don't want anything to go missing in the file when you send it over and you just want to flatten the image so everything looks good so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wave my mouse over all of this and select all of it but then I'm going to go and I'm going to click off my my clipping mask which is the the mask of the van so I'm going to I'll click on this just so you can see it I'm going to unclick everything and I'm going to change the color so that was my clipping mask I can actually um, I'll just leave it here and then I'll select all and then since it's on top I'll just click on the blue and I'll deselect it and I'm gonna just go ahead and group these items together so they don't get um, control G group 
so they're all stuck together and then I'm gonna lock up here on my height and width constraint this link locks it together so whenever I enter a width it does the audit automatic height um, when you're rasterizing something you want to make sure you're at full scale when you rasterize it I'm actually at a 10% scale right now so this this print is saying um, the artwork right here is 246 inches but right now it says 24.6 because it's at 10% but I actually want to go ahead move that decimal point once and scale it all the way up oh well that's not gonna work because our artwork borders are only 227 inches so I'm gonna control Z and go back now um okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna copy this width which is um, the 24.6 and just keep that and then I'm gonna just go ahead and scale this up to 200 inches that should be good enough I'm gonna type in 200 I'm going to go to object rasterize and I'm going to it pops up this little window and I want I normally like to choose transparent I don't like to have like have things with white background but if you do background and do white if there's any weird shapes and there's not a background behind it it's going to put a white background but I normally just do transparent and I'm going to go ahead and do 300 dpi so it's the best resolution it could be I'm in my RGB color format. I some wraps I design in CYMK, some I design in RGB. This one's RGB, and I'm gonna hit OK. So it's going ahead, and it's taking the time to rasterize all this artwork for me. So just it's a little waiting game. Tick tock, tick tock. Depending on how large your file is, this can take a really long time. Um, sometimes you're good at rasterizing it at 150 dpi if you scale it up 200 inches, um, almost close to the size it is. But it's, um, I mean, 300 dpi is the best resolution you can get. All right, so now you see all my little vector points went away, and it's one flattened image. And there, um, I'm going to go. I made the image a little bit bigger, 0.0033, but that's not a big deal. So I'm going to go up here, Control A, highlight this hole, Control V, back to the size I had it before, and hit Enter. So now it shrank my background back to where it was before. And now I'm going to, so I'm going to go ahead and change this fill back to a stroke so we can see the artwork behind. So now when I click on the artwork, there's not all those vector points that were there before. So I'm going to go ahead and select all. Um, I'm going to right click and make clipping mask. And so there it is, the artwork all clipped again and back to normal and rasterized so it's a solid background. So in designing in a 10% scale, if you want to see what a full scale is actually going to look like and what the quality of the print is, I'm going to go down here to my bottom left corner, which says I'm at 66.67% and I'm going to go ahead and change that to 1000. So, um, as you see, as I zoom into a thousand percent, this is what my print quality is looking at. Everything's looking pretty crisp and clear. All right, well, that's all I got for you today for this one. Um, I'm stay tuned. I think I'm going to go ahead and show you how to panel out a wrap on this transit. Um, I know transits. Uh, are used a lot in the wrap industry, and they're a little more difficult because. Um, their doors are a little bigger than a normal printer size and they're taller. So stay tuned for that. All right. See you guys next time.